Hey guys, hope you all must be doing great and awesome. Abdullah this side once again in front of you, your photography business coach. And in this uh, powerful knowledge session, I'm going to talk about the vision and the vision, the mission and the vision of a company. Have you ever thought, have you ever thought that why does a company uh, go for 100 years, one in, more than 100 years, 50 years? If you look at some companies who have been in this country for more than 100 years, right? And more than 50 years, Apple, Google, Microsoft, they are, they've been just nailing it. But what keeps them going? There must be a binding factor which should hold everyone in place. There must be that, right? So what is that? That is only possible through two great terms that I have learned in my life. It is called the mission and the vision of your company. Now, what is this and how you have to craft your mission and the vision and why it is important, why all the big companies in the world have their own mission and vision. This is what I'm going to teach you right now and how to put this, put this exercise into your own event planning business or your wedding photography business that I'm going to show you as well. As I own myself a wedding photography and filmmaking company, so I have a clearly defined a mission and the vision for my company, which I'm going to show you right now in this, in this complete video. Watch this till the end, hit the subscribe button and, and for more these kind of videos very specific wedding photography business videos that will help you a lot of uh, times to grow your business actually so now let's just start so guys what happens when we are expanding our company when we when we are growing our services then uh, what happens uh, the we need to come in the proper vision the entire team so sometimes the team will go some in different direction you are going in some different direction there must be a binding factor. If you look at all the big, big companies and big, big organizations of the world, like you take Ramakrishna Mission. So what is Ramakrishna Mission? It says that to, to spread the spirituality in the world in the most peaceful manner. And this is their vision, right? And they have been doing a lot of things to achieve that vision, right? Now, it is because of this vision that every member in the organization of Ramakrishna Mission, they have a complete, uh, they have a complete sense, of, uh, sense of mission to achieve that objective. Right, so it is a case. Similarly, that you have to do in your company. So, what is it? Let me just share that with you guys. What is it? So, in simple terms, it is. Uh, it is. It is. These are two complete statements that is actually that you will find almost all the companies in the world that they have. So, what I have done for you, I have actually taken down. One second, I have actually taken down for you uh, some very very. Uh, mission and the vision of some great companies that you will find over here so if you see you will find this document also in your in your uh, description of the video over here right you just see over here apple vision mission and principles examples right to help you form your own vision mission and principles i've included some of the world's uh, successful companies as you will see and all these things see see the apple what problem of the apple what problem saw the, the what did the how steve jobs saw the problem and how he crafted a vision and how he achieved that so see uh, problem was computers are complex it used to be ugly expensive non-intuitive right and only used by scientists at large corporations. This, this used to happen in the 1975-1976 when the Apple was actually forming, right? Now, see, what was the vision of the Steve Jobs? He said, to make a contribution by making tools for the mind that advance humankind. And how did he achieve that? To make simple, intuitive, beautiful products anybody can use to learn about and express themselves. Now, this was the this was a mission of the Steve Jobs. Now he said, make great products, simplicity. Now if you see Apple products, those are simple. iPhone is simple. MacBook Air, MacBook Pro is very simple. Collaboration, accessibility, own the entire user experience. So this was their principles. So you will see that Apple does not uh, allow any um, any operating system to install to be installed in their MacBook Air and MacBook Pros. So they have their own Mac OS, right? So that is this is what they say, own the entire user experience. Similarly, see the Microsoft. Computers are expensive, complex, and out of reach for the average person. Vision to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. A computer on every desk in every home. Now, see how simple it is. How simple it is. Can you see the simplicity in this? It is very, very simple. And it is a dream which has completely come true by the Bill Gates, who is the owner of the Microsoft. He said that a computer on every desk in every home. Similarly, look at the Google. What did Google say? Uh, what did Google say? The world's information is disorganized and out of reach. This was a problem. Now, what was the vision? to provide access to the world's information in one click. Now this is happening, this is happening. Uh, we are living in an era where we can just reach onto, uh, onto Google and can find the answer of anything and which is happening with just, with just one click, with just one click, right? Mission, to organize the world's most information and make it universally accessible and useful. Yes, it is happening. And principles, what, what, was the, what were the principles of Google? Focus on the user and all else will follow. 
it's best to do one thing really really well fast is better than slow right fast is better than slow democracy on the web works and they have a lot of principles tesla amazon you will find i have given you all their vision mission statement and the problems that they are solving so guys this is the this is the this is the mission and the vision now where it can help you it can help you as i told you when you are when you are working with your only by yourself then that's fine you can you can achieve it but when you are working with a team where you are handling uh, any kind of team 10 people 12 people team 5 people team then you have to take your team on one single vision and the mission only then you will be able to grow your company right your photography company like i'll show you how i have done it in my company gray white studios now what now why is it important now why is it important just see over here uh, why it is important let me just show that to you so okay i'll just make it right now in front of you so in simple terms it is like uh, to to make uh, to make everyone in your company on company on same vision right this is the thing so everyone in your company has to come on a common sense of purpose and a mission only then you will be able to achieve your mission this is the one most simple thing why is it important i will not give you a lot of pointers but this is one thing simple thing and all also also this is for you also let me just share that so for you so how it is for you sometimes you are you get distracted by the shiny objects right in the market so you see someone something doing then you see like oh why am i not doing it right or because of a b c things you get distracted because of that now now uh, for you for you when you get distracted then it helps you to to keep yourself on the track you will see that okay i started this company because of this thing this was the vision let me just let me just take let me just fulfill my uh, fulfill my vision right through my mission now if you see uh, i have a youtube channel i have some i have some online programs also i have some premium programs also at wedding photography business mastery now what is the what is the mission and what is my vision i'll just simply share that with you i want every person who is into the photography business or who is into the wedding photography business he or she should be knowing about the wedding photography business mastery and take as much as knowledge and the vision from my youtube channel this is my vision of this channel right so whenever i get distracted i'll keep myself i'll i'll keep myself reminded that okay this was the thing that i had started and and this has to be done right so this is the case now you will say abdullah what is the difference between the mission and the vision difference between uh, mission and the vision a lot of times people ask me and let me just share that with you guys in the most simplest manner so uh, let me just go over here and open this for you if you see over here mission means and the vision vision is a long term is a long term it's like the long term around 10 years 15 years 20 years it is the vision right and what is uh, what is mission mission will be will be your strategies which will help you to reach to that long term vision right long term vision so mission will be your strategy which will help you to reach that particular vision that you are seeking actually right uh, this is the case now uh, let me just share with you how to be done now let me share with you my vision and my vision how i have done it i have just given you the most important and the most working thing for me in the most simplified manner to you right now and only and only you will be able to get the maximum out of this video only and only if you go onto your table open up your note back notebook or notepad whatever it is and write your mission vision what problems you are solving and what are your core business principles so these four things 1 2 3 and 4 this i have this you have to craft and now i, I will also show you how i have crafted it for myself which has been helping me to grow my company and it has helped me a lot to grow my company to this level so so let me just share that with you also so how to be done so guys if you see this is the Uh, this is the wedding photography business mastery vision mission and principles right so introduction why do and your company exist you have to ask yourself other than for the purpose of making money you have to simply answer that it is very simple and you know that money is not the main product of a company money is always the by product for the problem and the value you provide in for the problem you solve and the value you provide in the in your people's in you know in your target audience life so this is the true asset test of a company's purpose if you see over here and whether it really matters if you want a company to be successful it has to matter to you and to other people right so let me just show that to you why did i started gray white studios some years back and i'll show that to you uh, what was the problem what is what is the vision uh, vision of my company and why what is the mission so if you do not know about my company uh, uh, i'll just show that to you this is just go and and see this if you want to see the what kind of films that we have been making i will just show that to you so instagram.com/graywhitestudios i started uh, around uh, in 2017 and see and why i had started and now i how i crafted my own vision and the mission and how am i achieving that right so let me just share that with you so problem why do you need to do anything so i saw that nobody in the market 
uh, this mission and this problem I did not uh, find when I had started to be very honest when I started my company in the year 2017 I was I just wanted to make money it is it was very simple right I just I did not have money and I had just one camera called, called Canon 600 DSLR but uh, after some point of time I found out that uh, let me just shoot the event and shooting the event shooting the event I was giving some great pictures actually so people loved my work then they started to, uh, to give me weddings and I was very good at my marketing so I, I just built that through that way but after a certain point of time I found out what is that one problem that I need to solve right now if I want myself to be different from the market if I'm just giving the market what everyone is giving I will not be different I will be just just the same uh, soap in the same rack and I don't want to be that right so I just found out that whether it's a Hindu Muslim Hindu wedding English um, uh, Muslim wedding Kashmiri wedding whatever kind of wedding uh, photographers go and they just shoot like without any planning or something so there was no customized wedding films it was not happening so I thought why not to give a very customized wedding film sitting with the sitting with my with my couples and understanding their story and crafting something around that right so I it was so I found the problem then after that I found out that the major big problem was happening of the post production Photographers were able to take the shoots, but they were not delivering the projects on time because they did not have the systems in place. They did not have the processes in place. They were doing all the work by themselves completely manually that, you know, that was eating a lot of their time. And because of that client was suffering and I did not want to be the, I did not, uh, I did not want to happen that way. So I thought I'll, I'll deliver, I'll take the projects, I'll shoot the weddings, but I will deliver the projects in the most fast expedite manner so that it can build up the trust in my, in my target or in my target audience or in my clients actually so right now couples uh, photographers come to me and ask me and tell me that Abdullah uh, couple is not giving me the clients are not giving me 80% of the payment after wedding or 90% they are having some payment issues and this is where I say it is happening because uh, the trust in the clients has you know it has been completely lost photographers have done that they have not delivered the projects on time in the past because of that it is happening so this was a problem now how did I solve when I can solve kiosko I'll just share that with you. So, uh, vision. I this was a problem, and the vision is this: G uh, Gray White Studios to be having 1,000 active promoters. This is my this is my uh, vision actually. So, what do I mean by the word active promoters? Let me just share that with you. Active promoters means. Uh, I was I had just uh, I had just read this quotation somewhere it said that if you can have 1000 active promoters in the market promoters means who promotes about your services who promotes your work if you can have 1000 active promoters in the market then nobody can uh, stop you to achieve a turnover of more than uh, crores rupees right and and it happened guys in the last few years I have been able to achieve a turnover of more than two crores in the just three and a half or four years right because I was into this impression that nobody was delivering a great work but I have to deliver a very great work so the feedback and the trust I developed in my in my target audience because of that I got a lot of referrals a lot of referrals and guys uh, we have not done till 1000 clients it's been more than 500 but not 1000 and even on more than 500 clients 500 clients we touched a turnover of uh, more than two crores but it is the it is the very basic benchmark which was given by a big marketing agency it said if you can have 1000 active promoters in the market who are actively promoting about your services then you can be a karolopathy it was simple like that so uh, so this is my actually uh, guys the main vision like to achieve a to give a world-class service and achieve a turnover of more than uh, 10 crores right and how am I doing it let me share that with you your mission statement talks about how you will get to where you want to be in the future right so delivering the most customized films with the purest of emotions in the most expedite manner so this is the thing I don't know whether you are able to understand much of this or not but let me just simplify this for you so it simply says that delivering the customized films according to the couple story and by delivering that through a system I have a complete post production system in my company project management systems and all the work happens on complete uh, automation where all everyone in my company they are clear about their jobs how they have to from where they have to copy the data from there where they have to start the films they have all the repository they have all the details of my clients in a particular in a particular repository system where they see the data of the clients and and the, their contact details they get in touch they understand their taste and preference so I have trained my team to do that how to get the films according to the couple's taste and the preferences and how I have been doing it so this was the this I designed my company and fortunately by God's grace I've been able to achieve that now what are the principles that I what are the principles on which I work completely let me share that with you uh, I'll just share that with you guys your principles are fundamental truths or propositions that serve as the foundation for you yes so 
the, on these foundational principles you will work right now these are my 10 principles i i would i would recommend you to form your own principles do not copy this or do not just copy this you can just copy it on the very rough level but deep inside it will not go into your heart to go into your heart heart you have to close your eyes and think what is the best quality of you as a person and how you can integrate that into your company that you have to understand and you have to implement right so what what did i i, I tell my team all the time that you have to give your best and not the world's best we go on to the shoot we just deliver our 100 percent we are team right uh, if the couples are not you know they do not even want to get the portraits we just we just fight on the location that we have to do the portraits so that at the end of the day when we come to our office my team we should not be like that we did not deliver the best it should be it has to be our best and not the world's best understand the difference between over here and even after that the client if you give your best and the client says to you i did not like your work or something just just uh, just uh, gratitude pay gratitude to to the uh, supreme power and say that i have given my best i do not care what the world's world would say, would say. there was no there, any single glitch of uh, what do i say glitch of uh, uh, what in simple terms what do i say there was not a single sense of glitch of uh, unethicalness in me right i was completely ethical doing my work i my intentions were very pure right and the second principle is called honesty trust and integrity this i have taught in my team even i hire my team when i go to hire a photographer cinematographer I tell them that what am I looking for what am I looking for and uh, I do not look for, for a great technical uh, skills I just look for the most important thing that is this guy honest does this guy look uh, look uh, does this like can be trusted or not right and only and only after I find the qualities in my in, in the person who am I going to hire then I go and hire that particular person not devotion to work yes guys we are completely devoted to work if we are not liking something and so we will just completely change it so it will it has happened a lot of time uh, that if if some film has been edited and I'm not liking it or my editor is not liking it then we'll completely change the film we will just revamp the film we will start the film from the start because we should understand that we have to give our best right we unless and until the best is not given uh, the team does not stop and me and I do not stop consistent learning and implementation yes it is very important so in my company Gravite Studios you will find that I have bought a lot of courses programs for my team uh, Photoshop Lightroom Premiere Pro uh, Da Vinci and all these softwares that we have that 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 are there in the market and i and i just train my team through those programs because i know that if my team is not trained enough then i will not be able to grow my work and my and my brand because everything is done by the team you are just a facilitator isn't it so this is the thing never settle for anything less than excellence this is one of the core parameter that i have excellence is the <laughs> excellence is the parameter it it, uh, it you should be excellent with that you should give your complete excellent uh, zeal into that delayed gratification yes i'll just share that with you delayed gratification means we do not work for for seeing the short term results so when i started my company uh, i did not it was like that i said that i'll build up a great company it does not matter whether am i able to make money in the short term or not but the kind of services i'm going to give to my clients it will give me a lot of references in the future and I used to charge at that point of time very less but uh, after some point of time uh, the references that came from those clients you know that build up my business so do not start a business do not do the business see the short term results always see the long term vision long term results and this is one of the most common uh, factor that uh, my team always stays with me they do not leave my company unless and until I call them to leave off because I have a long term vision on which I operate be transparent and be brutal even if it hurts it really helps yes in my company if I do not like about uh, something about any any editor or anyone you know what do i do what will i do i will just simply be brutal and i would say that i did not understand that change it change it deliver 1000 deliver 1000 x now what is this so if you have taken x amount of money from the client then give them 1000 x so uh, so if you if you're in on my youtube channel and watching it then it is my core mission at a core purpose that if you watch this video you should get 1000 x out of this and and you can only see the results once you will start to apply into your current business right now otherwise the results would not be possible your heart should be into your into it put your heart into it uh, if you are if you are editing a film if you are editing a picture if you are on to the shoot put your heart into that it should not be like half hearted game and and if you do not this is a simple thing that guys if you can only achieve something truly worthy only and only if you give your best 
if you do not give your best if your heart is it is not into that how will you do the best things and if you do not do the best things how will the great things happen to you it is not going to happen isn't it craziness needed in creativity yes we are crazy guys so sometimes we on the shoot do things that uh, nobody would imagine we will just ask anything to do the uh, to uh, for the couple to do we will we, we are just we just get crazy when we do the when we shoot onto the location so these are my 10 principles and upon this i have my complete vision mission and the problem that i'm so uh, solving actually so what do you have to do your action plan your action plan is simple this guys you have to do after this video right now do this along with me or you can find this sheet into the description you can download this sheet and make your own mission vision and the mission mission vision vision and the mission yeah vision and the mission just see over here so uh, you have to work on four parameters first is the first is the problem what is the problem that you are trying to solve right what is the vision that you have for your company the third one is the mission the third one is the mission how you will achieve that objective or the vision and guys and achieving to achieve those objectives you should have a clear business principles right or your foundation business principles or foundation on which you will operate so what are the business principles and foundation these are the business principles and foundation right on which you will operate after that this is the this is the vision mission and principles for problem that you are solving over here isn't it and after that you have the you have the vision that you are that you want to achieve in the long term it is long term and the mission like how you plan to get it over there these and and these are the problem these are the fundamentals business principles through which you operate and guys uh, you might think abdullah is it important to do this kind of stuff is it really important yes guys it is important if you want to build up a great company you have to do the things like a great company otherwise if you feel the small in your head in your mindset you are not going to grow big this is the thing so start to do the things the big companies are doing so that your vision should be big and only and only your vision is big only and only your mission is uh, looks big then your team will come with your way if you do not have any objective or goal where you are just working filling your pockets and you do not have a sense of mission and a vision at your company your team your company your 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 company team will not be sticking to it it is it, they will not be sticking at all at all i'm telling you because you don't have the mission and the vision for your company right and and put that onto your uh, onto your uh, print that out put that into your uh, company's office or something right and in in your weekly meetings or monthly meetings just just actually just tell them that this is just remind them that vision this is the vision and the mission on which we started this company so this is it guys i just wish and hope that you must have got to know something from this all the sheets and all the links you will find in the description and i just hope that this would help you thank you so much until then till then stay happy stay spiritual and stay blessed thank you so much thank you so much for watching this till the end thank you so much for your time thank you so much